Amen. Praise God. All right, we got a couple requests I've seen go by in the chat room. Uh, both crystals uh, asking for prayer concerning a decision that they say they're going to make or need to make, um, and they're just asking for prayer to be found about the Father's business uh, concerning their church. Amen. Well, right now. Touch, touch them right now. Everyone in the chat room, let's touch them with your hand, your finger, your thumb, whatever you got to do. Lay your hands upon that, that chat room uh, monitor there that's going up and down. And listen, if God has placed you in a place, wherever it may be, <laughs> then he's going to tell you. You're going to know. If God wants you to move, he's going to tell you. You're going to know. You're going to know. The devil will try to confuse you. God's not in confusion. Do you hear me tonight? I'm talking to you right now. <clears throat> Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, as your children are crying out to hear from you, Lord, dear Heavenly Father, God, tonight, let their minds be clear, their spirits be full of joy, as you speak into their ear with that voice that, yes, your children know that they hear. And they will follow. For they know your voice. Dear Heavenly Father, speak to them with assurance and peace with thy word. This matter be solved this night. This night, this day, this very hour, this matter be solved. Give them the boldness to go forth and do. If, Lord, you want them there, then, Lord, you tell them and let them roll up their sleeves and get to work giving you the praise, the glory, and the honor. Lord, if you want them to do something else, you tell them this night, this very hour in Jesus' name, for we have not because we ask not. Dear Heavenly Father, you say for us to come in, uh, to you and, and with boldness. Dear Heavenly Father, God, tonight they need a clear mind, a clear thought. They need an answer from you and only you. So, dear Heavenly Father, now you take you take these, your children, as you put them upon the potter's wheel, for they are the clay, and you are the potter. Shape them into what you would have them to be, dear Heavenly Father, and we'll continue to praise you, give you the glory, the honor for all things. It is in Jesus Christ, our precious Lord and Savior's name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. It, it's so. Listen, you know the voice of God. Now obey it. Jesus is good, my friends. Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the only way. Do you hear me? met me there when justice called mercy answered you won't find a friend so faithful for his love
God, man, glory, hallelujah. The presence of God is all in this room. I'm telling you, all over these computer screens, and the devil's mad. He's as mad as hell is hot. But I got good news. A victory is in Jesus. Amen. Victory. Did you hear me? I'm talking to you tonight. Victory is in Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Well, glory. All right. Here we go. Let's go read the next one. All right, uh, amen. Well, here's one for a daughter. Um, says uh, needing healing uh, for their daughter, uh, Sarah. Uh, please pray for my daughter. She had a heart uh, sugar and her oh heart surgery, and her recovery hasn't been as smoothly as expected. Please pray for God to heal any part of her organs, heart, lung, etc., immune system, and any other part in her body that is not functioning well to heal so that she can be freed from the use of a ventilator for breathing. Also pray for God to stop the fluid collecting around her lungs. God bless you all for your prayers. Amen. I'm going to post that. Um, give me just a second here. Uh, amen. Praise God. God is good, I'm telling you. And when two or three are gathered up, uh, Jesus in the midst. Do you hear me? Jesus in the midst. All you got to do is stand on the Word of God. All you got to do is believe with all your heart. N no room for doubt. Just believe the Word of God. It's true. And the truth shall set you free. We just got to believe. Right now right here on the gospel music jukebox we believe those in the chat room believe we believe the word of god you know even when i read a verse and i don't understand it i believe it i believe the word of god to be true do you do you follow me if you believe if you're a believer and you lay hands on the sick they shall recover this mother is crying out for a daughter body of christ Let's come together. We're asking God to touch this vessel, to heal this body, even this hour, this night. The hospitals will be astonished that she will come off of this ventilator this night, this hour, this moment. This is her moment. This is her hour for victory because more than two or three are gathered up, and we're going to lay hands agreeing and believing that nothing is impossible with God. We are healed. That's the Word of God by the stripes of our precious Lord and Savior. Right now, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we plead the blood. We, we stand on your word and your promises concerning this situation as Sarah has cried out right now, right now, right now, right there, wherever they're at, where, whatever country, whatever hospital, it doesn't matter, at home, wherever they're at, right now, we speak to those lungs. Uh, fluid, you have to leave in the name of Jesus. We speak to every uh, blood vessel, every organ in this body with life. Uh, we plead the blood of Jesus Christ, our precious Lord and Savior, uh, as we stand in agreement with this mother for her child, that 
with glory that Lord your will be done in her life and your will is to heal your children that we may be made whole and set free and Lord right now if any in this family are lost and undone Lord that you would reach in right now with that Holy Ghost conviction drawing power that souls would be won into the kingdom of God that people the dead will be raised right now in Jesus name Right now, in Jesus' name, right now, in Jesus' name, we speak to this this situation. Right now, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, right now, right now, right now, we plead the blood of Christ right now over this situation for this family. And even this hour, this very night, this this moment, there's something going on in that hospital room, uh, in that presence of this individual right now something going on that's amazing the people around her the people in her life the people that take care of her are being uh, left astonished as they are watching they are watching the power of God manifest before their very eyes because there's nothing impossible with God we speak to this vessel rise and be thou made whole in Jesus name in Jesus name be thou made whole in Jesus name Satan, we rebuke you. You might as well to flee the mind, the thoughts. Uh, you are rebuked in Jesus' name. You are rebuked in Jesus' name. You are rebuked in Jesus' name as we speak life into this situation. It is in Jesus' holy, precious name, the only begotten Son of God, our precious Lord and Savior, that we do pray. We agree. We agree this vessel is healed. We agree. We agree. Every and each prayer request that we prayed over tonight, I believe they are healed. I believe they are returned. Those that were in a backslidden condition have returned home like the prodigal son. I believe. I believe tonight that each and every request that we've agreed upon, that we've laid hands on, that we have spoke the power and the word of God into their life and into their situation. And even this very hour, there is rejoicing going on in heaven. There's rejoicing going on right now around the world. Right now, they're giving God the glory, the thanks, the praise, and the honor for what he has done in their lives, even as we speak. So let's raise up our hands and let's do a little bit of rejoicing right here, right now. My God, because of the cross and the three nails. Wrong. 